Hi, welcome to the Specialty Toys Network training sessions. Today we're going to be doing a special CSV import export session on using the CSV tools and Excel to rename lots of products very quickly. Let's jump right in. Okay, we're looking at our demo site here, and we just got a new order of toys from Animals, one of our new STN product featured partners. And on the store here, we got all the products, and we imported them in. We've got some great looking items here. And after I imported them, I noticed, you know, the names are a little bit plain for me. One of the reasons that really I uh, really like these products is that they come from recyclable materials, sustainable wood. So I think I want to do that. I want to update the names. So instead of just the animal, maybe it says like sustainable wood toy or sustainable wood toy pig, something like that. So let's jump into the back end and I'll show you how to do that. First of all, once you log in, let's go to the shopping cart. I'm going to pull open a quick little inline editor here, and we'll just do a filter um, by using the prefix anim. Let's just that should get us what we need there. And now we filter out all of our animals products. Here we can see here we've got all the names here. Now you can edit multiple things in the inline editor, but we can't really append or a prefix on top of the name is what I want to do. So I'm going to use the CSV tools for that. So let's go back over here to the CSV import export. And as always, I want to do a quick backup. And I'm going to go then to the CSV import export. And I'm also going to do an offline backup. So I'm just going to, oops, didn't mean to click that. I'm still in the CSV import export. I'm going to click the delimiters of caret and tilde use my default ordering, include the headers, and I'm going to export a file here. What I'm doing is basically doing a local backup. I'm just going to save that with the settings here. That way if something goes wrong, if I mess up the data, I have an offline copy that I can always upload again. Alright, so now I want to um, export the data to work with. I look on my configuration and I got SKU, name, in stock, and price. That sounds pretty good. I could also include the short description for the meta tag information, but rather than changing my um, configurations, I think it's going to be just as easy to export everything. So I'm going to change my delimiters to make them happy for Excel. I'm going to say use default, include columns, and I'm going to export the file. I'm going to open that right up with Excel here. If you're using Internet Explorer, another browser, your um, windows may appear a little bit different. We always encourage you to use Internet, excuse me, Mozilla Firefox. Very good browser. Okay, let's jump over to Excel. Here's the file I just exported. So I'm going to jump over and I'm going to just change the settings a little bit so I can see it a little quicker. Adjust the headings, and I like to bold the top row so I can see it. So I'm going to need SKU, name, I don't need the path, I don't need price in this instance, I don't need a full description, so I'm going to right click and delete those. Uh, let's see here. Actually, let's undo that. I do want the short description. So let's say path and price. Delete, and I'm going to go ahead and shrink these all width so I don't see as many. Uh, product description I don't need. All of these columns here I'm not going to worry about. So we'll delete them. And let's just do this. We'll click and shift click, shift control click right. Select all of those, and we'll delete all those columns. Okay, now we're left pretty quickly with just the three columns that we want to use. Let the system catch up. We're running a little slow here. Okay, so I've got SKU, which I'll need to upload the data, product name, and product description. So let's jump right in. The first thing I want to do is select everything, and I'm going to use my filter tools. Um, to sort. In this case I'm going to select 
I've got all of my um, Animals tools here, or Animals products here, listed according to the prefix. So rather than actually doing that, let's just sort product skew by the value. There we go. And I'm going to select everything up to this. Delete those, because so I'm just worrying about the animals right now. Okay, shift click down, and delete. I've isolated those 40 items that I'm going to be changing. Let the system catch up with me. Okay, now I'm ready to adjust the name. What I want to do is jump back to the website. Uh, front end here, and I want to put this sustainable wood phrase in my name to give it a little extra search punch and also let the user know right off the top that they're seeing products that are environmental friendly. Okay, so here I'm going to just shorten these up here. I'm going to paste this here temporarily. And I'm going to insert a new column. Now I'll write a formula here that it says equals this cell and you can do this a few different ways, but I'm just going to say equals this cell here. And it's not quite what I wanted actually. I want to do G1 first. And let's do this a little bit differently here got a better idea. Let me copy this text again. Okay, so now I'm going to say equals, open quote, paste that text in. I'm going to put a space and, close quote, and then and, product name. And let's just adjust the capitalization on these. I guess I should keep the spelling right. Take a look at that quote. We're saying insert the text and then follow that up with the product name that exists. Hit enter. So I am appending all, or prefixing the sustainable wood on that whole product name. I'm going to copy that. Click, control click down to the bottom. Right click over to go one. Now control shift up and paste control V. And I've got all of these cells now with sustainable wood in front of the name. Perfect. So I'm going to copy those, control C again. Just click right over on this cell and I'm going to paste special this time. I'm going to paste the values that I just copied and let's just take a look at that. So now I've got the column data that I want. This one obviously doubled up but that doesn't bother me because I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to delete this column here where I had that temporarily in. So now I've got sustainable wood Aussie pouch. And do I want to do that here? Let's see. Made in Australia. Yeah, I want to do that. I've got a couple things here by animals. There's some spacing on here that I want to clean up. Um, so let's do a few things here. The first thing I want to do is select this set of text here looks like there's some automated stuff going on that didn't quite work right so I'm going to find select that whole column and do a find control F and I paste that in here and I'm going to just replace that all I'm going to paste it right again um, by animals we will just change that to award-winning Toys designed in Australia. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. There we go. So it's going to change that sentence to make it a little bit more proper. And we'll just have that column selected, so it'll replace all. Okay. So now I've updated all that text. Um, the last thing I want to do, I see that the buy got a capitalization in here. So again, I'll just do a quick by and I'll put a space I'll put a space before and after to make sure I don't inadvertently hit any other characters and let's say match the case or 
replace all. Okay, now we would change that. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Copy my sustainable wood text. And again, equals text space ampersand and carrots the cell. Okay, there we go. Copy that left into the cell and then control click all the way down, right click, control shift click, up and paste. And each one of those carries over, so I'm copying the data um, vertically that I needed. Okay? So click at the bottom, control shift click to the top, control C for copy. And then I can just go back over here, and I'm going to control shift up to the top, and then click one down. Lots of different ways to do this. And paste special again, values. Okay, so now I'm done with this working column. And let's go to the top. I've updated my product name and my short description with the data that I wanted on it. I've kept my headers the same, and I've gotten rid of all the other stuff, so I didn't make any changes to those. So my CSV file is ready to re-upload. I'm just going to go to Save As, comma delimited file is what we want. So let's just go up here to my desktop. I've got a working file and CSV import export. That's what we'll set this. Let's we'll call this new animals info CSV. Perfect. We'll just spell that even right. Okay, and save. Got a couple of comments. Excel alerts, not a problem. Minimize Excel, and we're back to the website in the back end. This time I want to import that file. So I set my delimiters, leave them as they are for Excel. And again, I just want to update existing products, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, I have the column headers that I exported. They're going to work perfectly to arrange stuff. So even though I exported everything, now when I bring it back in, it doesn't really matter um, that I'm only doing those three cells or three columns. So I'm going to select and let's see, new animals info, select that, submit. Give it a second and get a preview here. My SKUs, name and product description. Perfect. Continue that upload. 41 items updated. So let's go to the front end now and do a quick old refresh here. Sustainable wood pig, perfect. Let's look at my page info. My description from our search engines also updated. Perfect. So within a few minutes I was able to get myself some unique SEO terms and titles um, and update my products to make them stand out a little bit differently for everybody else. So they started out good. I've made them using Excel and CSV and the supply data just a little bit better and more unique to my store. Thanks again for participating in this class. That's CSV import and Excel.